Rub a dub dub. Let's get in that tub. Yeah, it's actually a bathtub themed land. And what is going to start us off at a scrolling level? You can actually go beyond this point, but you'll die because you'll keep hitting a pit. But did you ever think you would get to pilot a bathtub in this game? Oh, the whimsical randomness of it! <laughs> so yeah, you basically just bob the bathtub up and down like this with the A button. Look at that adorable little shower cap. You can catch a one-up right there if you're vigilant. But generally, you just want to follow the trail of bubbles up and down and wherever it may wind. Getting little neat things all the way, like little spiral top whatevers and hot dogs and jalapeno peppers and whatever these cakes with stereotypical Chinese hats are. Those scrolling levels are always really short, but thankfully that one is a lot easier than the train one was. I think there's at least one more scrolling level here in Bathtub Land. Oh, did you ever think a bathtub could fly? That's so crazy! Okay. A lot of these guys around here, we're going to want to avoid them, and it seems like this is where we get off of our uh, bathtub today. This is where we dismount our bathtub. That's not a sentence I thought I'd ever find myself saying, quite frankly. Let's go up here. And these uh, these bathtub stoppers, they're going to dip just like the girders in the previous level. Excuse me, the previous level did. Okay, I might want to actually get up there before I get out of the tub. That tub is not going to be of much more use to us, really, unfortunately. So we're just going to keep on going the way we're going right here. Jumping from one stopper to the next. And into here for secrets. I didn't know you could pass through that, but that's pretty cool. We don't want to be careful. Oh, hey! Little bonus thing behind the soap. That's fun. What is this going to take us to? I don't think it would be safe to have the telephone around the bathtub, quite frankly, so I'm glad they took us out of here for this particular segment. That was probably very wise of them. The next one, I'm sure we'll have toasters or something, and then we can take the toasters back to the bathtub, and... Oh, wait, that's just wishful thinking. Alright, good deal. Found ourselves a little secret. There are a lot... There are many such secrets in the bathtub zone, in the bath time area. Where James is going to get nice and squeaky clean. Let's take the high road here and what awaits us up here. Crazy things, I'm sure. Little boys who haven't taken baths, I'm sure. Huh. And here's some of those elevator things just like in the previous stage. Except here they're shaped like sponges and soap bars. So we want to get a good running start and... There we go. Wow, we got a lot of nice things there. Excellent. Okay, oop, oop. Want to be careful about how we advance here. Of course, if we're going to be... They're going to throw health at us like it's going out of style, then uh, we might as well just charge forward, but... Never a good idea. There are a lot of hills, actually, in this bathtub land, so... It's going to behoove us to move very slowly. Let's jump over here and see what we've got down the way. All right. Very nice. Now, let's step back here. James is very happy. He's got his maximum four lives. What else is there to life, really? And this is the end of this level, but before we take a jump in the bathtub, let's see what's behind it, why don't we? Because I have a feeling... Oh, yeah. There's lots of stuff back there. Not a secret exit or anything, but it's nice to know what there is back there. And now we're going to take a dip in the ocean. With the yellow submarine! Ah, that could have been some kind of inspiration this game, but I doubt they're that clever. And old man life jacket Jenkins is gonna be bugging us here. There's gonna be like two or three on the screen at a time, and you know what that means. That means slow down. The slow down hoedown. Hmm. Love it. And you want to explore all around these things just to make sure there's not any penguins that you didn't get because that's going to be, there are going to be lots of penguins spread out around these parts, mostly in linear order. We don't have to worry too much about not getting them. I'm going to take the old man's teeth. Ha <laughs> ha sucker. But yeah, you'll pretty much run into pink like this. They're not hard to find. They're basically going to be in a linear order. So you'll be able to get to the exit without too many problems. Yikes. And you want to hold down when you're bopping on Old Man Jenkins because the recoil is just insane on him. 
Let's get our, uh, let's get the fruit that they hid under the deck. You can actually, uh, glitch this out right here. You can go up through it, I think. Yep, good thing it doesn't, like, crush you to death or anything. That would be cheap and terrible. Boom. 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 Yikes. I didn't know he could pass through that thing. Well, that's better than I could do. Here we got hearts. Pass over the giant fin there. We got diamonds. And on the other side, still clubs. So I guess you could say all hands on deck. <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to kill myself. Let's see. We always want to take the high road when possible, although it doesn't seem like there's anything terribly rewarding up there. So let's move on through the next corridor. Another penguin saved. And I always like to explore the bottom depths first. More health. That's part of why, because the good stuff's usually down here. Who left cheese in the water? Got any cheese? Any chance of us passing up through one of these submarines and finding something nice? There's at least one of these submarines here. You can go partially inside it. You can get like a one-up or a lot of points or something. But that's not till the end of the level. It may not even be till the next level. No, it's this level. In fact, I think it's right up here. Not this fin, but the one behind it, I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm thinking of a different submarine, because there are just tons of submarines around here. Alright. Get down past him. There we go. The one with the window in the top. That's the one you can go inside. The one with the little black porthole. Let's slip past the old man here. Sounds like that was a one-up, but uh, why don't we stay in here until he's behind us? Sometimes he swims slow, sometimes he swims fast. This game can't decide whether it wants to run properly or not, or what, or bruh. Somebody left their apples under the submarine. Maybe they would have wanted to eat those later. But see, when there's no enemies on the screen, you can just cruise through here really fast, and it's easy, and it's actually kind of fun to be in the water in James's natural habitat where he actually doesn't die. All right, looks like we found everything we need to find around here. There's one more water level like this, and it's sort of maze-like, but you want to be careful because these barrels... Ah-ha-ha! <laughs> There's a monkey at the front of the ship! Because monkeys are funny! I just can't get enough of this game, and it's windy! <laughs> What's down here? A secret, that's what. Boom! Always explore the bottoms of these little ships around here. You'll find all kinds of stuff like this, including a one-up. Awesome, I don't think I need it anymore, but it's nice to know that they're there. And really, who needs faucet taps when you're surrounded by water? That is a little bit silly, logistically speaking, game. We do not need plumbing. We have all the water we need all around us. Unfortunately, we also have gills, so yeah. So always check the bottom of any ship because there's at least one more secret like that that I know of around here. Not in that one, but maybe... In, oh, hey. And the barrels, even though they look like trinkets, they're not. They're actually obstacles, even though they're the same size as everything else. It's kind of silly. You'll bump up against them and you'll end up hitting enemies because of it sometimes. So don't get confused thinking that the barrels are things you can collect because they're not. And despite what the boundary of the screen may have you believing, we can actually go forward from this point. Ah, uh, it's not worth it. Well, maybe it is since you're going to come back around this way. There we go. Oh, no, no. This actually is the boundary of the level. Whoops! Got some ship lips there. Hey! Pink barrels. They'll drop and allow you to get things sometimes. Or sometimes they'll try to crush you. Whatever's cool with them. Hey! That is not quite what I intended to do there at all, whatsoever. See, if you don't hold down, you'll jump off them a lot. This is the actual exit to this level, I think. I think we're out of the bathtub now, so we should be out of the clear here. Nope, one more underwater segment. Hooray, because we all love those. See, there's a platform that goes up and down and will try to kill you if you're not careful. Anything over here by the vacuum cleaner? Nope. So let's wait for jet pink barrels to get away from us. What's up through here? 
Lots to explore in this particular part, as there is in any maze-like level, but I don't think we're going to be getting that anytime soon. That hidden chalice or whatever. Probably just one of the lost treasures of Atlantis. No big deal. Nope. Nope, I don't see myself... I don't see any way to get that anytime soon. Okay, we're probably just gonna... Yeah. Gonna need to wait on that so we don't get insta-killed underwater. Where nobody would find our bodies, but who cares? Because James Pond is the worst secret agent ever. Okay, boop. Alright, health. I don't think I need any more health, but I'll certainly take it. Okay. And yet more health. And Coke cans stacked on top of each other in water. Well, I guess that's one way to storm. And up through here. Now we're gonna have to go quite a ways around, I think. Can I go through any of these? I cannot. Whoa, hello. Yikes. That is a scary trap ledge right there. I didn't even realize that. I'm gonna wanna be careful about where I go, apparently. Okay, so this is the right way. We gotta save a penguin, so that's part of the right track, I guess. Why would you need... Oh, hey. Hey, some kind of hidden goodie. Are there any more such hidden goodies? Well, maybe. I'm sure they'll stay there and wait for us, though. No need to be in any kind of hurry. Unless the game wants to do that, though, because that's cool. Let me know anytime you want to move fast, game. Haha, <laughs> old man teeth. Oh, the coin went away. Yeah, I'm not sure why we need the umbrella underwater unless it's going to overlap into other levels in this section. Anything up in the ceiling I need to be aware of? I don't think there is. So let's grab this penguin and get on out of here because this, this is the last underwater bathtub segment. All right, and these are also worth an instant kill. Is it worth it to go back and get the vacuum cleaner? Well, unless there's carpet in your bathroom, no, but I say let's go ahead and get it. See, we got an umbrella anyway, so why would they why would they give us the umbrella underwater? There's no need to float or anything, and these two soap bars will break off. And we're going to go through a little bit of a scrolling segment, not that the screen scrolls, but we're going to have to wait on these guys, and okay. Look at the position of that umbrella. We're going to jump onto it, and there's an invisible platform right there that will take us up to a secret. And then once we're done with this secret, we'll just drop back down and carry on like nothing ever happened. But once again, it's bathtub time. Splish splash, James Pond take in a bath. Even though he is a fish, doesn't need to get real clean. Plus we're gonna gut him and eat him for dinner. Which sounds good, actually. I could go for fish right now. I wonder if that'll take me back up, actually. Will I go to the secret area again? No, I'll probably just die this time. I don't want to risk it. Okay, this one up. Gotta be careful because it's a seamless transition, actually. You can't see where this, uh... Okay, well, you can if you jump behind it. You can see that this is somehow situated differently, which probably means death. Yep, that thing would have moved up and tried to crush us. I know this because I've gotten crushed by it before, but you get the one up, so... If you get the one up, it's kind of like nothing happened. You just really have to start back at the beginning of the level. Hey, okay. Not sure how that worked, but whatever. Let's go up through here and clean up some little boys who have been very naughty despite the fact that they are full of love. At least I assume they are because they have hearts on their shirts. Okay, nothing up here scary or anything, is there? Okay. As always, let's try to take the high road because that generally yields the best rewards. Eh? Yeah, any... What's down here? Okay, yes. This is probably where we need to go. Then hello! Man, that was fast, but we're at the end of the level, so... That's nice, I guess. Ah, yes. This is the other scrolling level. Kind of an abrupt start there, but whatever. And the enemies here are much easier to kill. There's no jet planes trying to kill you, although those card mosquitoes are fairly annoying. The one thing you want to do in this level to make sure you're, you turn out okay is to not run down any hills because there are a lot of spiky pits around here. What's in here? Oh, no, that's probably actually more detrimental to us at this point. And besides, it's a, it's a scrolling level. What do we really need a plane for? As long as there's ground all around us, which there is. Purple spongy ground. 
to make sure we don't slip in the shower and hurt our backs and need a life alert. Uh, uh, uh. And you want to get this on the way down because there's spikes right there. This will probably last us through the end of the level, so strategy is just out the window now. We can just plow through anyone we want, basically. One up. And take the drop. Oh, there were more spikes there, but the odds of us hitting them, very low indeed. Is this the last level in this section? I want to say it is. Yes, it is. So, should we try to fit in another section today? That would be quite a lot of video, actually. Yeah, you know what? Y'all have been good to me. I say we go for it. So, what is next? What am I prepared for here? What is going... A snake and a card. Am I ready for the randomness? I don't even know. This is just so crazy. A snake and a card. What could possibly be in front of us? Oh, well, losing invincibility. That's cool. Because that was bound to go away at any moment. Okay, well then, let's see what's going up, going on up here. A tasteful background for once. That's what's going on, actually. Very nice. Okay, nothing really up here. So I just came up here to kill a car. Kill your car, man. Okay, cherries. And you'll notice the flying boy flies very slowly to the right, but very quickly to the left. Ow, oh, he's coming in. He's coming in for the kill. Ah, there was no one to kill, so I guess he's off duty now. What's in these things? A boy! That's the weirdest power-up I've ever seen. You need to die, boy. And give me your teeth. Whoa, hello, everybody. And yes, the enemies do come on much faster in this section, so... That is one thing we want to be careful of here. Okay. Can I reach these? Uh, yes, thankfully I can. So, back up to maximum health. I'm going to be needing it. Looks like that pit is going to hurt me if I try to go inside it. So, I'm not going to go inside the pit. Hi there. Ah, that was a weak jump, James. Good lord. And also, that was a weak jump. I think there's nothing back here, actually. So, let's just keep on moving and... Try to make sure we don't jump through too many platforms because that's apparently not a great idea. And don't get so caught up in the rhythm of jumping that you get this poison jar here. Who are you? Hey, a glove. Okay. That's a guy we haven't seen in a while. Sure, okay. Why not? Okay, we got four different exit poles here. I'm not sure which one we want to take, actually, so... Hmm, the top one seems... Yeah, sure. Let's go out on top. Literally. Will this bonus stage be good to us? No. We are instead, it looks like, yikes, brought back to the beginning of the level. So, actually, only one of those poles is correct. Wow. That really is stupid. Huh. So, you actually do have to find the right one. I did a test play, and I guess I found the right one the first time. So, we'll be right back. We don't want to repeat too much here. This would get really boring. So, we'll be right back when we get to the uh, to the exit as soon as I'm not being assaulted by flying children and speeding cars. Alright, so I guess this is kind of like the Lost Woods, except a really lame way to go about executing it. But anyway, we want to go to this bottom one here. You just pass through the left platform to the left, and you get taken to a bonus area. Which is going to kill my brain apparently is extremely intent upon it yay now what do we get i think we go if we go to the left or the right i think we go to the left here and when we go to this one we'll go to the other side of the bonus room which is nothing but death and poison no it's more goodies well it was death and poison when i test played it wow that's very kind of the game to do that. Let's go to the right this time. And maybe get away from the fast swirling checkered background. The craziness. Okay. Wow, this is one level. Okay, I remember this level. This one actually has a fairly complicated secret exit to get to. Not hard, just long and complex. Oh, oh. Okay, hang on and then kill from above. Death from above 1979. 
Okay. Wow, I usually get hurt by that guy. That was very risky of me to do that, but it ended up paying off dividends. So let's crawl across the domino here, and anytime you see a card, you can mostly walk on the playing cards, but if you see one that's flipped with its back facing, you can't walk on that one. It's a, it's a background object, so let's stand on the playing cards and get rid of the winged card mosquitoes as they come to us. Finally, finally a place where that enemy feels at home. Okay, and then up here, and then another one. And now what we want to do is remember that though that you can go through the cards that have the back facing you. So we're going to go through here, going to hop, hop, and hop, and have a good old time, and probably we'll need to kill some enemies to clear them out. That would probably be a good idea here. There are a few enemies that are going to be in our uh, flight path here. Wait for him to die as well. Or I guess we have to take a proactive part in killing him, so technically not accurate. We want to stretch up from right about here, I think. Yes, there we go. And now we're going to take the high road for a bit, which is going to end up being, which is going to end up leading to our secret that we want to get. When you get to right here, you want to, no, not do that. Okay, I'm going to have to go back a little bit then. Oh, hello. Can I uh, use you to get across, good sir? Okay, I see. Okay, okay, cool. All right, so I do have kind of a second chance here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so what you really want to do, instead of falling right there, is you want to go back, and you want to you want to get a running jump. There we go, and you want to jump to here. You'll get tons of little card suit-based trinkets. You'll get to run along here, basically without threat of any kind of death whatsoever. And what you're going to want to do is come up here. I don't think we can activate the exit pole just yet, which is over here. No, we sure can, but we're gonna... Okay, we're gonna want to touch it anyway. That's cool. Well, it led us to the same bonus room anyway, so we didn't have to go through all the extra steps of saving the penguins. Because why would we want to save the penguins? They're just stupid. Okay. So we are in a dark kind of domino-based room here. You can kind of go around and explore it a little bit, but there's not that much to explore, really. There's just this part right here, jump out through here, come here. You can figure this out blind pretty easily. Basically, anywhere there's dots is a place where you can walk. So, let's just come back through here, get our one up, which you get by jumping up through here, and there you go. Well, I made that much shorter than it had to be. I guess we could have explored around in the plane a little, but really, what's the point if it all takes you to the same place? Alright, this is a long and tedious level right here. The penguin chess pieces are very cute. They look pretty bored. The horse looks happy, but the penguins are like, oh man, it's humiliating. I don't want to be part of a chess set. But this is a very, this is a very tedious level. Mostly because the best way to go about it is to go like this through it. Just crawling along the ceiling, basically. We can get these up here, but for the most part when you see a line of chess pieces like this, you just want to walk through it instead of over it because you're going to see these winged card mosquito guys. Yeah, nope. Yeah, sure, I'll kill you. You probably deserve it anyway. But for the most part, you want to you want to stay along the ceiling because that's going to keep you from getting run over by tires. And it's zigzag diagonal pads up and zigzag diagonal pads down. When you see this machine pumping like this, once it gets pumping really fast, it's going to spit out a tire. So anytime, you can kind of move around the ground if you want. It's risky to do so. But I guess if you want to do it that way, you can down on the ground. But it's essentially dangerous and very much not worth it. Okay, we're going to want to wait for this machine to work its magic. Spit out a tire before we keep moving. And pretty much every ground level slope is going to have a tire or two coming down it. So, okay, same thing here. It's pumping, it's getting ready. Yeah. Now we just have to make our way and stretch up. And yes, there is one of the car mosquito guys coming through here. So, I don't know this this will be entirely worth it. 
Well, we got some health out of the deal. Lost one piece of health, but we're doing pretty well, actually. This is kind of a frustrating level, especially if you just go around the ground the whole time. I don't want to run down the hill and plow through somebody and get hurt, so... I'm jumping occasionally to keep myself from gaining momentum. Alright, and on these parts, we want to just drop through onto the chest pieces. Be hanging on the ceiling... I think we're pretty safe right here, actually. Yeah, there's none of those. Okay, cool. No machine spinning tires now. Now we just want to walk through the chest pieces. Not over, you may recall. I mean, unless you want to die, unless you enjoy dying. I, for one, like to die a few times every day. It's just fun to do. But now we're on the top of the level. As you can tell by the bell trinkets and the invisible boundary that we're hitting our heads on. Some ground level mosquito business going on there. And we are doing really well, actually. Better than I did on this level in my test playthroughs. Want to kind of keep it slow. Nice and easy. Anything we can get in the... Uh, anything we can get in the wall here? I don't think so. Okay, well... Never hurts to try. Okay, who... Oh, dang. Well, if we go through here, if we kill two enemies, we can get a one-up. Anything through here? No, of course not. And anything on the ceiling that we need to know about? Doesn't look like it, so let's get out of here. And what comes next? Alright. Snakes? I can deal with snakes. I don't know if I can deal with giant, really fat snake tails, though. I am just really weirded out by this. Maybe I should not have come up through here. Uh, okay, snake head. Is snake head a thing I have to worry about here? I'm going to die if I hit a snake head right now. Whoa, that's snake head. Okay. I need to be ultra careful then. This is, this is like snake rattle and roll, except not fun. Okay, but I can uh, kind of edge through the... Uh, background pieces here so uh oh that's why because they're elevators oh boy and snakes from above that's always a blast <laughs> okay maybe i should uh, be a little more careful then maybe i should see what's over here before i go about testing any wild theories okay Alright, seems to be doing pretty good so far. I think this is probably a safe elevator to go up. There's the exit right up there. Okay, so... I need to be looking up constantly to make sure... Okay, I need to look up at all times to make sure there's not a snake about to rain down on my head. But yes, the bobbling eyes in the head and all oh, the wackiness! It just never ends with this game, does it? Okay, so basically, yeah, another maze. Gotta find your way through it. Okay. That was pretty simple, actually. But not too many uh, secrets so far that I've seen. Hey, vaguely Mario-esque mushroomy platforms. Well, I can just stretch to get that. That was simpler than it looked. <laughs> okay. I do like the design of the uh, mushrooms, if only they weren't put up against such a silly background. And now we face these jet plane guys, only in a non-scrolling context. So, and what look like what look like snowmen, but are probably actually members of the Ku Klux Klan. And I could not jump up through the slinky. That seems kind of weird and counterproductive. So it looks like these snowmen guys are going to jump anytime they get near us. So. Using my powers of deduction, I think I should probably jump before them. Any chance of these platforms going down and hurting me? I think they're going to be fairly stationary, actually. Thank goodness, because I'm not ready for invisible traps at this point. That's, that's pretty much the last thing I need right now. They have a vaguely Calvin-esque sneer on their faces. I like that aspect of their design, but it seems that's Snowman. Well, you forgot your flowers, Snowman. What's your wife going to think? I doubt you're married, actually. Snowmen really don't have long lives, generally. 
Well, I need to get my health up, and flowers are not going to make it. Neither are computers and floppy disks. If I want to get a life, I don't need a computer. Ha 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 ha! Oh, wait. Oh, I made myself sad. Okay, it looks like the, looks like the mosquito guys went away. And it looks like if I want to risk dying, I can uh, get a midway point, which actually might be handy. So I'm going to see if I can't... Excellent, I can jump through the bridge. Now I just need to jump over this guy. The slowdown is pretty killer around here. Oh yes, that's exactly what we need is uh, things that have a three-dimensional isometric perspective in a 2D game. That's really cool. How am I supposed to get that health? How am I supposed to risk my neck for that? That just seems really silly. Also silly is the way I can seemingly walk off these things and and die if I want. Okay. Die! Get it? <laughs> Almost missed that one. Me missing a joke. Yeah, right. Okay. Or a pun, rather. I miss jokes all the time. Uh, did that thing, like, push me around? Wow, these are really slippery for some reason that I don't fully comprehend. Okay. Let's see. Okay, okay. Well, I can, uh... Jump in the spikes and get fruit if I want, at the cost of, oh, uh, you know, just my life, basically. What's up here? This thing is going up. And now these things are moving around in a weird way that I am not really comfortable with. Let's see. So I can get this to come down, I'm sure. Right, right on top of my head. Okay, useful. Okay, I understand how I'm supposed to get that red star now. You just ride this thing over. Well, preferably without dying. And it was kind of a wash in the end because I ended up falling off. I probably should have gone forward and cleared out the enemies first, but whatever. And that ends up being a teacup. I thought it was something different last time. Man, this game always throwing you the curveballs. Ah, <laughs> I should not have jumped there. That was really stupid. Okay. Familiar ground, familiar ground, familiar ground. I really hope we're almost done here because I think a half hour of James Pond is more than a normal average sane person can take. But, of course, hmm, well, I'm certainly glad I can walk on that. Not that they would have told me or anything, but, ah, uh, fool me once, shame on you. Any chance of me getting up through here and, uh, okay, no. But if I can possibly jump over this thing, might be a bit of a squeeze, but, no, I've pretty much established that I can do that, so... <laughs> Invisible pole for the win. I'm good. There we go. That's the kind of bonusy stuff I'm looking for. Pretty much entire health refill. Golden goblets all mine. <laughs> and now over to the exit. Maybe there was one behind it, but I don't particularly care. And thank God we're done. I think I'm done for today because good God. 30 plus minutes of James Pond. I think it's enough to break anyone's brain. So off we go. Tomorrow we will start off with a boss. What boss that is, I am not entirely sure. But he's going to be just up the stairs here. I know that much. Ah, the lock is broken. And the mystery will be solved tomorrow. <laughs>